In this video, I'm gonna give you seven tips on how to quiet down your recurve style bow. So I've had a few questions regarding, uh, you know, a too loud of a bow or how to quiet down their recurve style bow. So when I say recurve style, I mean Olympic style recurve, bare bow, traditional, that type of shooter. Um, so if you have a loud bow um, or you're looking at making your bow a bit more quieter, uh, this video is for you. If you're new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. I'm working to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery from uh, form to uh, tuning, uh, strength training, lots of different things. Uh, so if you haven't by now, and even if you have been watching these videos, I really would appreciate if you hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I new upload a video, which I am doing very often. And I'm just really trying to put out really good, solid, informational backed uh, you know, reasonings to my uh, suggestions to help make you a better shooter and just basically remove all the growing pains that I had when I was growing up and just to cut through everything and, and, and remove all of the misinformation and the fluff out there and just deliver you the hard hitting facts on how to be a better shooter. You're watching the Jake Kaminsky YouTube channel. All right, so in this video, uh, we're gonna cover seven ways to make your recurve bow quieter. Um, some of them can be issues uh, from potentially setting up incorrectly, and some of those can just be aids to help quiet it down in addition to a, a decently set up bow. So anyway, we're gonna get into it now. So the first thing that uh, you need to have or need to check when your bow is not sounding correct or sounding as uh, quiet as you may hope it to be is your brace height. So your brace height's really simple. You need a bow square and uh, you need to measure your uh, brace height. If you don't have a bow square, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can get a bow square. Um, and they're really cheap and affordable. It's an important tool and a must have when you're gonna be shooting any type of archery really. Uh, disclaimer, that is an Amazon affiliate link. So when you click on those links and buy those products, I get a bit of a kickback. It helps support this channel, allows me to continue to produce free content for everyone at home. Um, and also anything you buy within 24 hours of clicking on that link, uh, I do still get a cut of that. So that really actually helps this channel a whole lot. And those that click on those links and buy those things, I genuinely appreciate it. And, and thank you for supporting this channel. So anyway, brace height, super simple. You basically just click your, uh, you click your bow square on the string and then measure it to the center line of your plunger stem. Now there is a relative rule of thumb for where your proper uh, brace height should be. Every limb manufacturer recommends a brace height range. Um, so if you have your manual from your limbs, look there for a rough guideline. Um, if you don't have that, many of the limb manufacturers have downloadable uh, manuals online on their website so really try to find one if you don't have one but I did also produce a video on how to set your brace height like I do um, if you haven't seen that by now there'll be a link in the description below plus I'll put a card up at the top here and you click on that it'll take you uh, to the brace height video I'm talking about the second reason that your bow might not be uh, as quiet as you want it to be is that you may have a loose strand inside of your string now this really doesn't happen very often, but I have seen it. I actually have had that happen to me a couple times, especially when I built my own strings. Now I, uh, I buy strings from a professional string builder because it makes such a big difference in performance. But essentially what can happen, and it's kind of difficult to see, uh, but basically you may have one loose strand compared to the rest of the strands in your string and that really can affect the way the bow sounds and behaves dynamically. So what you really want to do is as you have your string um, either on your bow and you look at it, make sure that one strand isn't wanting to kind of like squeak out of the side of it or something. You know, you may be able to see that while you are twisting it um, and where it's at, you know, not on the bow and it may be more apparent that way. So for example here, I have a string and as I'm playing with it, this is just for uh, demonstration purposes, this really doesn't actually have a loose strand, but I'm going to over exaggerate this. If I were to take the string and just twist it, you can see that all the fibers lay down just fine. But if I have one strand that is loose compared to the rest and I twist it up, you'll see how it just doesn't wanna lay down with the rest of the strands. That is an over example but that is exactly what it would look like if you had a loose strand in your string. 
The third reason that you might have a loud bow is that you have not enough or too many strands in your bowstring. Um, there is a general rule of thumb. Now, I would recommend 18 strands for anything under 40 pounds and 20 strands for anything 40 pounds and above. Uh, this goes for pretty much anything, men and women, youth, uh, doesn't matter. Now, the string material does matter depending on how many strands, so don't take just 18 and 20 as gospel. Uh, if you haven't yet, I would check out the video that I produced on string material selection. I'll put a link in the description below, plus I'll put a card at the top here if you want to find out some more information on using the proper string material for your particular setup. Now, the fourth reason that your bow may be loud is that you have loose parts on the bow. Pretty simple, although that may be very obvious. Sometimes people have some loose stuff and they really don't quite know why or when it happened. Uh, but anyway, as they rattle, the bow is very loud. I'll demonstrate that here now. So this is my bare bow setup that I've been playing with. I'm just going to pluck the string while everything is tight and you'll hear, you know, a decent sound. Doesn't sound too rattly, too loud, not too bad, just normal. But if I had some loose stabilizer weights and I plucked the string, as you can hear, Obviously, it's very loud. Even if they're just barely loose, really loud. So always make sure everything's tight. Even the little individual screws within your riser, on your limbs, all sorts of things, that can make a big difference in how loud or quiet your bow is. Now, the fifth thing that you can do to help quiet your bow down isn't something that you can fix. It's just something you can use to quiet your bow down. And those are something called limb savers. Now, limb savers come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and colors, um, but just to just keep into consideration that limb savers are a brand name, not necessarily the actual piece itself. It's really just a limb dampener, but limb savers are the brand. It is a very reputable brand, uh, very well known. They make a great product, can't go wrong with them. Uh, I will also put a link in the description below where you can find these. Again, those are Amazon affiliate links. Uh, but anyway, you have anything from this, which is a hush puck, which actually comes from the drumming industry. I guess it helps quiet down or uh, reduces reverberation or something like that. But those are stickable on your limbs. They do work. Um, but the limb saver style has many different shapes, sizes, and colors. So you can do colors. There's mini ones that you can stick on your sight bar, which I have in the past. There's recurve style ones, whereas this is supposed to be more of a compound style. Both work. Um, there one's just a little bit bigger. This is one that has splits in it So it absorbs a bit more vibration than this style But again, there's a lot of options out there and you can find whichever ones you would like again in the link in the description below The sixth thing that you can do to help quiet your bow down is to use different dampeners anywhere on your bow It could be anywhere in your stabilizer system like on these V bars here You can see some dampers in between the weights you could move the dampers more towards the rod and have more weights on the end That'll give you a bit more vibration dampening qualities, which can help reduce your noise. There, there are other style of dampers. Like this is a, this is from Doinker. This is a, an A-bomb style damper, um, which again, uh, you know, can be adjusted and, and, and customized. This is one that goes on the end of your stabilizer. You could screw it into anywhere on your riser that there's a hole. This will help reduce some vibration. Here's another style that slides onto your stabilizers, onto your sight bar, things like that to help quiet it down some more. And again, another style, another option to slide onto your stabilizers. So there are a lot of uh, varieties, a lot of options out there. And uh, I'll have some links in the description on where you can get some of these styles um, online. But yeah, you, these are definitely important. Obviously on the bare bow class, you're not allowed a weight or a damper like this in between your weights and your bow. You are allowed limb savers. Um, and so, you know, that'll help quiet down the bare bow quite a bit. And the last tip on how to help quiet your bow down is to make sure you have a proper tune. I've seen some arrows that are totally underspined for the bow and it sounds like a shotgun going off, not like a bow being shot. So uh, if you haven't yet, I would highly recommend ch checking out my tuning series. There will be a link in the description below. I'll put a card at the top as well. Uh, but basically I go through taking you from top to bottom, how to set your bow up like a professional, how to have the best tuned bow, help you shoot higher scores, and it will be quieter in the long run as well. So if you haven't by now, check that video out. It'll help you get a much quieter bow.
Thanks for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.